Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna do another empties video. This is gonna be all of my empties for the month of April. This was actually one of my most successful empties I've ever filmed, but like I had over $500. I had $587 worth of empties, but this video is going to be so long. So I ended up saving some of those for the next time so that we can get through um, these empties. So just like usual, I will have all the products listed below as well as I do have a playlist if you love to binge watch empties videos like me. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it really helps my channel out. So um, if you love empties videos, just keep on watching. Okay, we'll go ahead and start off with the really exciting things. So I finished another lipstick. Yay. Uh, so this is the Mary Kay Semi Matte Lipstick in Bashful You. And this is the color that's just the plastic on top. Let me see if I could, I can't really get anything. Um, I'll scrape some out. So that is the color right there. It is basically a really, it's basically like your lips but better color. It just gives it a little bit of a hint of like a pinky nude, um, but other than that, this one is done. I would repurchase this color. I just, I really like the Rich Truffle one a little bit better because it is a little bit darker of a nude and it's like a little bit nudey or brown. So I highly recommend these. They're a semi-matte, so they're still very comfortable, but you get the matte look and you don't get like your hair caught in it like other kind of like more glossier ones. And then we finished another foundation. So this was the one that was in my project pan, um, my Supernatural project pan. It's the Revlon Color Stay um, foundation, and I have it in the normal to dry formula in 130. So as you can see, I like scraped this sucker out. I don't think I would re I wouldn't repurchase this one. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one because. It's the same thing. I'm gonna declutter the next shade up, which is 150. Um, those are what they look like. This one was just really cool toned. It's not my favorite foundation. I like the Revlon uh, Photo Ready Candid one better. So I would repurchase this one over these. But these are the oldest foundations in my collection. So I was so glad I got one out. And then this one doesn't go in my numbers, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you that I'm going through some foundations. And speaking of foundations, this was also in my Supernatural Project Pan. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And that's what that looks like. I, you can see I scraped it out. I did not like this foundation. It is way too thick and it's just doesn't blend very well. You have to, um, you definitely have to use a brush. You can't use a sponge. And it's just not my favorite. So next we finished another powder. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. And this is what this looks like. And I even took out the little netting and stuff so I could get all the powder. This was not my favorite powder. Um, I would definitely not repurchase this one. This is like Tarte powders are about the only products that I have found that I have not liked from Tarte because they're one of my favorite brands, but I just, I do not like their powders. This one I ended up, it took me like probably six to eight months or so to use this one up because I ended up setting my like face from here up with the powders that I like and from here down because I always blend my foundation down uh, my neck, this is what I would set my neck with so I could at least get some use out of it. So I would definitely not repurchase this one. And then we went through a concealer. Uh, so this one took me, I looked back because I thought it took me six months. This actually took me seven months to go through. This is the Mary Kay Concealer in Ivory One and this is the old packaging. So it comes in a wand now. But this one has a lot of product. It's got 0.3 ounces, which is more along the lines of a Tarte Shape Tape size. So this took me forever to go through. I'm glad I have it out of my collection because it was my oldest concealer. And uh, yeah. And then I went through two primers. 
This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and this is like the travel size, so it's half of a full size. And I mean, I liked it, it was good. I have like three more minis, like smaller than this, to go through, but I wanted a break and to try other things. I'm not a huge fan of like silicone primers. Um, the only type of silicone ones I like are just to fill in my pores. I don't like an all over silicone one. So my favorite ones are the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and the Tatcha Silk Canvas ones. So if I could get rid of all my primers, those are the two that I would have. But this one did a good job about just kind of filling in your pores and making your foundation glide on good. Okay, next, this one I actually, I actually like, really liked this one, um, but I don't know if I would go out and necessarily repurchase it. This was a good added step. This is the No, or Touch and Soul, No Pore Blum Priming Water, and it's got Bulgarian Toning Water and Essential Oils. And I wrote on here, it's a hydrating oil and it's supposed to be pore minimizing. So that's what that looks like. And I, like I said, I like to use this as an added step. So if my skin was really dry, I would add this with my other two primers that I was using. Or sometimes I would just use this one and then my pore filling primer. I don't think I would repurchase it because I think my like Becca, one and the Ofra Cool as a Cucumber ones are, I like better, but I'm not writing this one off completely. I finished another Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is my absolute holy grail. Uh, yes, there's not a lot of product in here. Uh, it takes me about two months to go through one of these, but it takes me about four, five months to go through like a Urban Decay Chill or All Nighter makeup spray and because those have double the product, but it's also double the price. So, I mean, yes, I'm going through more packaging, but I'm getting the product that I like. So, I already have a backup of this and I did order the new Tarte one, the like Maracuja spray. So, um, and I, but I think that one's like $23 and it just has a little bit more product. So, We'll see. So then I also went through another makeup sponge. I think I forgot to mention this last month, but this is the Morphe Flawless Beauty Sponge. And I actually liked this pretty good. It was good enough like squishiness um, and it had the flat end, but you could also use this underneath your eyes. This would have been better if it had the flat end right here, but it was good. I don't know if I would repurchase this one, or my Real Techniques one, because I've already repurchased that and a Beauty Blender, so we'll see if I end up missing this or if I continue with the Real Techniques one. Okay, and the last makeup product is this Ico London Skinny Black Liquid Liner. Um, I didn't get to use this one very long because it started flaking really bad. It still has a little bit of pigment, but I ended up having black stuff. It took me a while to figure out what it was, but it was this eyeliner and it just started flaking. And then once you try to like get it away, it would smear everywhere. So it was just not a good look. But I think I still have a couple more of these that I get because I always get these as free samples with my Ulta purchases. So I think I still have another one or two of them. It's like they're never ending, but I think I've gone through like three or so of these. So that's it for makeup. So that means we ended up using a total of $159.10, which is a good month for me um, because we did have 10 makeup, prod mm, makeup products. So that means our year to date is $517.74. So we're getting there. Um, I feel like we're gonna have another good year of makeup. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into the skincare. So um, I have, let's see, quite a few products. So the first one is the Mary Kay Clear Proof Oil Free Moisturizer. This was also in my Supernatural Project Pan. Um, I'll go ahead and list it up in the cards if you wanna see um, my updates on those. 
or my playlist, but uh, this one was too old for me to use on my face. So I ended up just using this as a hand lotion. Wouldn't suggest using it as a hand lotion. It's a very, very, very lightweight moisturizer. It's for like acne prone skin, which I need something that's really, really, really hydrating. So it wouldn't have worked on my face anyways. And then now this one I love. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in Nude Glow. So this is a uh, mini of that and it's a, it's almost a third of the full size. I absolutely love this. Anytime I can get a hundred point perk at Sephora, I will grab these up because I absolutely love them. Um, I've gone through a full size and multiple minis. Uh, it gives you pretty good moisturization but it also gives you a little bit of a like highlighting um, like glow to your skin. But I just, I love it. It smells so good. I think it's the smell that gets me the most. It's like a dream sickle. And I usually don't like fragrances in my skincare, but this I absolutely love. Highly, highly recommend this one. And this one. So, this thing right here, I had a love-hate relationship with this thing. This is the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum, okay? The serum itself, I absolutely love. This, I do want to try the Drunk Elephant one before I repurchase this, but this is probably going to be my new go-to vitamin C serum. This is, not only it's brightening and smoothing, when I stopped using this because I, I, it took me about three months to go through one of these. When I stopped using it, I could really start to see my texture spots. So I feel like this was really doing something for my texture. It was just, you know, serum. So it was slow progress. So you didn't really get to see, you know, I didn't realize how much it was actually working. So, but the one, the main reason I like this is it, it's actually a hydrating vitamin C. So I am using another one right now from like, I think it's Mad Skincare, and it's very drying. But it also has like an AHA, BHA complex in there as well. So that's probably why. But the only bad thing about this is the smell. I don't know how they let this get out of production smelling like this. It smells almost like rotten pineapples. Now, granted, your olfactory glands, they get used to different smells the more that you use them. So after about week two or three, yeah, I didn't really smell it. Like it didn't smell terrible. Now the first week I was like, oh my God, how did this come out of production? Like, how do people like this? Oh my gosh. Cause I know Kathleen likes like, Kathleen likes, likes it. And I was like, oh my gosh, why? And, but if you stick to it, you will absolutely love the serum that's in there. So highly, highly recommend this one. Um, I went through the Cosrx Acne Pimple Master Patch little acne patches because I did break out um, some like the last, the, really the end of March, beginning of April. So I ended up finishing up these. These are, let's see, they have 24 of them in there. I think they work just as fine as the Peace Out Acne Dots, but they're like a fourth of the price. So I would get these ones. I'd probably continue to get these ones. I think I still have one more pack of this. Then I finished another eye cream. I actually really liked this eye cream. Now, this is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. This was my like morning eye cream so that I could, um, you know, for the brightening and depuffing. This is a third of the full size. It doesn't look like much, but it is a third of the full size of the product. So this is kind of along the same lines as the um, Glam Glow Moisturizer. It's got a little bit of a like sheen to it. So I feel like it not only kind of does stuff long-term, but I feel like it's also improving or brightening your eyes like right away. So it's got that like almost like shimmer-ish, I don't wanna say shimmer, but it, like lightness that instantly makes your, you know, makeup look better. But I feel like it also has a little bit of long-term effects. Now I didn't get to see all of that because this was only a third of the full size, but 
I really liked the consistency and I feel like it was hydrating. So I do actually have a full size of this in my collection. I'm going to go through a few more, but I'll come back to you when I finish that one. And I have had like a little bit longer because this may be my new go-to morning eye cream. Next, I finished another sheet mask. So this is the Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Mask in Brightening. And this is the only sheet mask I've ever used that I've, you know, tolerated. <laughs> I've kind of liked. So I know I was going to say that I was, I was trying to use at least one sheet mask a month, which is like nothing for most people. But I just absolutely hate sitting there with this thing on my face and you can't do anything. This one you actually can. So this is one of those like kind of cellulose ones where it, it's like a biocellulose sheet mask and it really does suck and stays to your face. So you don't have it sliding down and it was good as far as I feel like it was hydrating. So I, if you like sheet mask, I would recommend this one. Next, I went through the Tatcha Violet, Violet C Brightening Serum. And this is just a sample packet because I wanted to try it because I almost just bought it. And But I saw this and I was like, perfect. I can try it before I use it. I did get three uses out of this little serum packet, but I feel like this one was a little bit drying. So not only does it have the vitamin C, it also has AHAs in it. So, and that's the same problem I'm having with the vitamin C from Mad Lab Skincare it has the vitamin C and the AHAs where I like to use a vitamin C during the day and an AHA, BHA at night. So when they're together, I can't use my other AHAs at night. And then I feel like, I don't know, that's just not the skincare regimen that I like. So I don't think I'm going to purchase this after all. So it was good that I got a sample to try it out. But if you're wanting to save time and not use a whole bunch of skincare, then this might be good for you. Okay, next we have three hair products. So this is the Diva Curl No Poo Original Zero Lather Clean or Conditioning Cleanser. Now, I've used a few Diva Curl products before and I've never had any problems with it, but I can't in good conscience recommend any of their products because I've seen some, you know, really bad results with certain people. Now for me, this worked absolutely fine. I don't know if I would like run out to go purchase this one. If I did, I would probably repurchase their, the like low poo, not the no poo one, but I think it was fine. It did the job. It's got a very like pepperminty kind of scent cooling sensation. So, Usually, because what I do is I shampoo the top half of my hair, rinse it out, and then I use a cleansing conditioner on the second half because I used to double shampoo my hair, but now I use like a cleansing conditioner so I can at least have some type of conditioning aspect on my roots without making it too greasy. Um, but, and then I'll just use and I'll use that from like here to here. And then from here down, I'll just use regular conditioner or hair mask or something. But I don't know. I think I'm more in the line of getting stuff for frizz because I have such a problem with frizz. I don't really, at this point in my life, I don't really care what my curls look like if they are really spirally or if there are more like waves because I like either or. I mean, I usually like more of a wavy look, but then half of my hair always curls like ringlets and stuff. So, and I did have my hair back a little bit earlier at work. So they're a little bit more not as together, but as long as my hair's not frizzy, I don't really care what my curls look like. And then I have this. This is the Not Your Mother's Naturals Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Combing Cream for curly hair. It's supposed to restore, bounce, and enhance and define curls. This was also in my Project Pan. This was in my A to Z one. And I, it took me a while to go through that, but this wasn't my favorite. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. Nothing that I would like run out to go purchase. I do really like that it had a pump. It was decent, but nothing that wowed me. And the Lord knows I have enough hair products, especially up here in this little thing, to last me a lifetime. So 
This one is a tried and true. I've gone through probably like 10 bottles over my lifetime. I've this, let's see, I think I started using this in either middle school or high school. This is the Garnier Fructis Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. Um, and this one is the, let's see, Ultra Strong. So it's four out of five. Um, I don't really care what strength it is. Like I don't mind having like a one or a two because I mainly just spray this over my hair to push down my <laughs> flyaways and my frizz. So I think what I purchased now was an anti-humidity one from Tresemme and it's only got like a one or a two. And I think it does fine because then my hair's not really crunchy, but I mean, I, I would not be opposed to a purchasing this again, but I'm gonna see, I'm gonna continue to use the Tresemme one and see which one I like better. And then we have, the last one is our miscellaneous um, category. I um, went ahead and went through another candle. It's like so exciting for me because I never go through candles. I know most people fly through them, but this is the Sand and Fog Teakwood Candle. And I got this at TJ Maxx for $7.99 and it's originally $18. And if you want something that smells like manly cologne or like an Abercrombie model, this is it. It reminds me a lot of the, uh, what is it? Uh, mahogany Teakwood, I think, from Bath & Body Works. But this one doesn't have as much of a throw. So if you can get the um, Bath & Body Works one or there's a Sensationals one that you can get at TJ Maxx, if you can find either of those, I would purchase them over this. Now I did um, so it looks like it burned out really good and it did, but you see the stuff on the side, that's actually where it was, but I started to put this, I actually put it on top of my candle warmer and, uh, cause I have one of those Scentsy ones and I'm just letting them burn like that so I can get every last bit of the ones that I like, so probably wouldn't repurchase that one again. I would rather get the, the other two. And then I went through another one of my Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster packets. So I used these for about two months and I did start noticing a difference, especially with my hydration and then my acne, but I had to stop it because I actually, so I'll insert a picture of what the other product that I had. So I had to get blood work and my blood work went crazy like I had really high liver problems for some reason I've never had a liver problem before and I don't really drink that often I don't like you know I don't have a problem with that kind of stuff so I had to stop all of my supplements all of my medications just to figure out what it was and it was actually this thing right here so while it did work it messed up my liver so I'm just now able to start using these again um but I do really like them. I do see a difference in my hydration and my acne. So I would recommend these ones. I went through another one of my Schick Intuition razors, refills, heads. Um, I highly recommend these. I'd go ahead and get them on Amazon. Don't buy them at the grocery store because they're like double the price. Then you can get a four pack. Let's see, they come with three in a pack and you can get four of those, so 12 for I want to say like 28 to 30 dollars it kind of ranges on Amazon but if you go to the grocery store it's gonna be like 15 to 17 dollars for one pack so definitely don't buy them at the grocery store and then two more items we have this was actually in my project pan uh the supernatural one I think yeah um and this was the Bath and Body Works body splash spray thing in midnight pomegranate I did not like this scent so I ended up just using it as a room spray and I finished this off. And then last but not least is the Ulta Beauty uh, Foaming Hand Soap and this is in Pink Lemonade. I went and repurchased this scent again. It, I mean, it smelled just like what it says. It smells like Pink Lemonade, which is a good scent. It smells good, but I'm just tired of it. So I would much rather have a like eucalyptus or a like beachy coconut one, so. 
there's that. Okay, so that was a really long one. I did not mean for it to be that long. I even taking products out. So um, we'll go ahead and jump right in. So we ended up having 25 empties this month and that was a total of $406.89, which means our year to date is $1,644.42. So we're doing good so far. We're staying at our $400 goal. And like I said, I have like $587 or something. Um, really but i just wanted to spread it out so this video wasn't so long so hopefully next month will be a good video as well so if you uh like this video you like empties don't forget to um comment down below what you've finished recently if any of these are like you love them or definitely if you tried this serum i want to know what other people think about it because besides the smell i absolutely love it so i will see you guys in the next one bye